Hi, everyone. Welcome back to another episode of the Soulcation Podcast. I am your host. The show is all about how do you create consistent freedom, purpose, peace, and self-love in your everyday life. So today we're going to talk about how to stop beating yourself up. <laughs> I don't know about you all, but I find myself doing this, especially uh, being an entrepreneur. You know, there's always more to do. There's always more to read, more things to learn. So these are three things that I have to make sure I remind myself of all the time. Number one, consider not let the, letting the guilt of not doing more outweigh the great small things. Sometimes we will read you know, two pages in a book and we're like, oh, I should have read 10. Or I said I was going to the gym for 40 minutes and I only went for 20. Or um, I'm going to be on time for work from now on and we're five minutes late and we used to be 40 minutes late. You know, it is the small things that creates consistency. And that's sometimes we forget that, you know, because we want to do so much more, but it's really keeping you on track to start building your habits, building your routine, building your levels of consistency. So be content with the small things because that's what's going to set you up. And small steps lead you to execution. Execution is going to always lead you to your next level. Your next level is always going to lead you to victory, and victory is always attached to your purpose. So number one, consider not letting guilt of not doing more outweigh the great small things. I'm telling you, it's those great small things that keep you on track. And people remember consistency more than they remember oh this person put out one blog you know four years ago you know some people i go and i follow and i look for it i'm like where is she like what happened i used to love her stuff some people fall out of love with it some people move on to other things whatever it is that you choose to do it's the small things that's going to create consistency and a routine that's going to lead to victory that's going to lead to the next level that's always attached to your purpose number two this one is so key, y'all. <laughs> if you really want to stop beating yourself up, let this just flow in your mind for the rest of your life, child. You are not your mistakes or anyone else's mistakes. You are not your mistakes and you're not anyone else's mistakes. You are not dirty because of what a man did to you when he was supposed to protect you. It is not your fault. Some women have never been told that. And they've carried stuff from their childhood into their adulthood. And, and they're thinking that it's their fault. It's not your fault. You were an innocent child. And if that happened to you, don't carry the burden of somebody else's immaturity or somebody else's sin. Don't carry that with you for the rest of your life. Release that today. Um, you are not a dropout. You are not a failure. Anything that you did wrong in your life, if you choose to follow the right person or follow the right path, then it's just a lesson. It's just a part of your story. It's something that's going to make you better and grow you um, to things that grow you into things that you never even thought that you could do. Um, you are not a cheater or a homewrecker. You participated in an act once or, you know, a couple of times. And, but that doesn't mean that's who you are. That is not your identity. That's something that you did. It's not something that you have to carry around. This is the type of person I am. These are the only men that are attracted to me. That's a lie. That is deception. That is not true. Don't carry around those mistakes. Don't carry around that burden. Don't carry around anybody else's because that's, it doesn't help you. <laughs> Carrying around burdens does not, help. perfect example. Uh, I don't know why I say that all the time, but that's my favorite way of uh, saying, per giving an example. My auntie um, is, I call her my spiritual coach. Anytime I need a word, okay, I call this woman. And every time I call her, she has a word ready, okay? It's like it's sitting on ready for me. She was like, D, you need to nail every mistake that you've made to the cross because you're carrying something that you're no longer responsible for. It's God that's going to handle it. So you need to take all the stuff <laughs> that you keep carrying on your back and you need to nail it to the cross. And that's what some of y'all need to do. You got to nail it to the cross. You got to give it to a person that knows what to do with it. And he's going to erase it from his memory. He has moved on, honey. He's up there having brownies and cupcakes with a little honey on top. He is good. <laughs> it is us that has to release these things that we keep carrying. Um, be clear. Like I said, your mistakes are not your identity. There are, there are things that you did. You are not ugly. You know, you still are chosen. You're not the dumb cousin 
or the sister that always makes mistakes. Everybody in your family has made a mistake. They just hide it better. Oh, she gonna say it again. Everybody that's judgmental, judgmental, critical, got something to say to you, you better believe there are skeletons there that they learn to hide well. Okay, there's not one perfect person walking on this earth. So if there's anybody close to you that's putting this burden on you of oh, nobody in the family has ever done that, that is a lie and the truth ain't nowhere near them. Okay, nobody on this earth <laughs> is perfect. I remember uh, T.D. Jake said, just because you are scarred does not mean that you're not whole. You know, you are healed. And the scar is just a representation representation that there was a bruise but it also shows that there was healing even though you were scarred if there was any type of bruise that you've ever gotten if you look at the scar healing came with it also healing is something that you have to receive and be willing to see some people see a scar other people see healing um you're a jewel that's who you are you are a ruby you are god's best idea you are a multi-purpose masterpiece. Y'all, that's my favorite thing to say of myself. You are great enough. You know, you're not the things that you did. Those were things you just participated in. There were a lot of times when I think back on stuff that I did, I'm just like, how, why? And you can sit in that and beat yourself up, or you can move past the fact that I'm forgiven. I'm a forgiven woman. I don't have to carry any of, the, of these things anymore. So if you want to stop beating yourself up, Give your middle name, your middle school nickname that they gave you at school back to God. Okay. Give your hate for your skin color, your body image, you know, the things that you say about yourself, all your your fear of being single for the rest of your life. Take all those things and be like, here, here, Lord, I, I don't even know what to do with them alone. No I've been wearing them, carrying them, you know. And I can't, I can't do this anymore by myself. My prayer a lot of time is yo, for real though. I need you. These folks crazy. <laughs> Life is hard. I'm tired. I want a nap. Okay. And I want to sleep through the nap. And I be thinking about stuff. <laughs> you know, my prayers are pretty simple nowadays. I be like, Lord, need you. And I move on. Okay. If you want to stop beating yourself up, you got to take all these things that are burdening you that you're carrying on your back, you're feeling like you out here alone doing life by yourself, and you just got to give it to somebody that care about you greater than you could ever care about yourself. I wish there was another solution. I wish there was a meditation remedy I can give you. Child, give it to somebody that care about you. That's number two. Number three, and I got this from Psychology Today, um, Think of every mistake, all the mistakes we just talked about, as learning opportunities. Uh, the article said, life is an unending process of self-improvement, and mistakes are just unavoidable. Un unavoidable. Um, we're all going to make them. <laughs> so take every everything that you thought, okay, so you didn't go to college, okay? You didn't get chosen for the sorority you wanted to be in. Um, you didn't get the job at Disney. You didn't, you know... The person that you wanted to marry ended up marrying somebody else. It's, I wouldn't even consider that a mistake. But everything in our life is an opportunity or, or just a demonstration of what's to come or what God was keeping you from. There was a reason you didn't marry that person. There was a reason you didn't get that job. There was a reason you, you didn't attend that school at that time. There was a reason why you weren't picked for that line. You know, we... We want to know the reason, but I think a lot of time is God's protection, you know, and if let's say you want to go back to school, there are certification programs, there are training programs, there's books, there's coaches, there's other ways of being educated. So if you didn't go to school, it's okay. <laughs> you can learn in other ways and you can get certification in one specific area that you actually want to try out. There are no things in this life that you're not gonna use. Every part of your story, your journey is used. God leaves nothing out, he wastes nothing. Let's do a real quick re uh, recap. You wanna stop beating yourself up, consider not letting the guilt of not doing more outweigh the great small things you've done. Because the small things are the steps that leads to execution, your execution leads to your next level, your next level leads to your victory, and your victories are always attached to your purpose.
Um, you are not your mistakes and you are not anybody else's mistakes. You know, it's not something that you have to carry for the rest of your life. Every single thing that you have been beating yourself up for, you got to give it to somebody that care about you way deeper than you could ever care about yourself. Um, also, think of your mistake as, think, as things that you should be learning from, as opportunities to grow, um, opportunities to see yourself in a different light, um, opportunities to respect yourself a little bit more, you know? Um, yeah. This podcast resource for sure is one of my favorite books. It's on YouTube, actually. You can go listen to it for free. Uh, but it's 100 Ways to Motivate Yourself by Steve Chandler. I love that book. I, I don't know if it's him reading it. I think it's him reading it. Uh, but his tone is just really funny. And it's, it's a lot of really, really great tips. Um, honestly, I would play it just while you walk cleaning the house up or something like that. But it's 100 Ways to Motivate Yourself great, great book to put your hands on. Um, thanks so much for tuning in to the Soul Cation podcast. You know I love when y'all watch on YouTube. Make sure you subscribe um, to the Soul Cation TV channel as well as, well as uh, comment. And if you're listening to this on the actual podcast app, make sure you give it five stars and leave a review. I will catch you all on the next episode of the Soul Cation podcast. Have a good one.